Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mayor and I teach creative people how to sell their art online and this time you can't see me because I actually got the idea of filming this at night and as most of you know, I'm super tired but I just want to show you something really cool that you can do with Kittle because they now have masking for letters. So we're just gonna go to create a new project and I'm thinking, let's say in this case, I want to design a t-shirt. So I usually do the 300 dpi first and 5000 by 5000 pixels is fine for me especially if I'm uploading to TeePublic because I want the design to also fit their hoodies and I'm gonna click on create and then I'm gonna go over here to their elements and they do have masks and for those of you who don't know what masks are it's basically this kind of shape that appears here and I can take any photo from my uploads for example this one which is from my liquid art collections and basically put it inside this frame. So when it comes to their masking, they actually added letter masks. You can see here the letter A, you can see here the letter E, we have R, M. So I'm just gonna scroll over all of the masks and I think I wanna spell out the word weird. So I'm just gonna do the E, the I, we have the R, now I need W and D. That's a D. Where is W? Oh, I want the butterfly too. <laughs> and W. Okay. As you can see here, it takes a little bit of time to sort of even out because you can see it's a little bit blurry on the sides. But I found that sometimes it's just about, you know, the internet speed that you're using. So I'm going to write here weird. Do you have this thing whenever you write a word that you feel like you're doing it wrong? Like it's not spelled correctly? And I'm gonna use this, grab all of them, and then there is the tidy. So it sort of assembles all of them. Let's also put all of them in the middle, and then they're all aligned with the same spacing, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it here. And uh, let's also group all of these and center them in the design. Let's ungroup them because I don't need that anymore. And I'm gonna go to my uploads and this is actually one of my liquid art designs that I showed you guys before from my liquid art bundle. And I'm just gonna drop it here. I actually think maybe it would look better with this one. Oh wow, this is so much weirder. Yeah, weird. This is so weird. <laughs> And let's take the butterfly and get in a different color. I don't know if I want the butterfly here. You know what? This design would probably be good looking on, let's check out the background type. I don't know if it would look good on white because some of these are missing. If anyone from Kittle is watching this, please make the option of actually having an outline to this. That would be amazing. The same one that we have with usual text because if I take just a piece of small text, then I can create like a border around it so if we could have a border around that then that would be even cooler but let's take my weird design and download it 300 dpi remove the background as a png file and with that i'm gonna head over to tpublic upload art and a png go to my downloads grab this and now i'm gonna try and see if it looks good on colors of t-shirts Obviously, this design is a little bit out there, so let's check out how it looks on t-shirt colors. I'm just going to deactivate all of them. So white is good for me, and also all the darks are really good for me. This one, this one I think is also nice. Let's take this one, this color, what do you think? I, think, I forget, you can't answer me. This one is cool as well. I think most of the greens are. Uh, the dark ones, blue, I don't know. You can activate all t-shirts, but I kind of like to go over them one by one and make sure they actually look good. I don't want to have something that doesn't look good. Even though I had one of my designs for puzzle lovers that I accidentally activated every type of t-shirt. And to my surprise, someone bought it on like this background, which was horrible. So, you know, things can still sell. Let's select a default color, and at this point, when you're selecting a default color, just FYI, it basically changes that color for everything else. Let's go with a hoodie in black and the baseball. Uh, let's change it to white and black. Okay. And we have the sticker here. 
Well, this one actually looks kind of cool, but I want to change the background into black. You can also just choose the simple die cut, but I like this one. With the case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this word around and center it in the middle. It actually looks kind of cool. And yeah, I think I I'm going to go with black instead of this kind of asphalt color. The mugs actually look kind of cool. I'm thinking maybe a white one because I sometimes don't like the outlines, but it does look better. No, you know what? Let's keep it white. Make it a little bit smaller on the tumbler. Ooh, I like it. And of course, you can change the ratio, even though this is like a really good ratio for this. With the notebooks, I'm not really sure if anybody would buy this because the design is not really fitting, but I'll activate it anyway. Maybe I can just put the design up here instead. And then people can put, like, I don't know, like stickers and stuff like that. Sometimes I do that with my notebooks. I'm going to make sure that the tapestries are on landscape just because it looks better. And I'm going to change the color back to black. Why did I choose the first t-shirt to be asphalt? God knows. Magnets, you can either go with rectangle, which will automatically create the same ratio that you had with your wall art, or I'm going to do the same thing I did with the stickers with a die cut and a background and change the background into black because I think it looks much better. The masks are actually quite interesting. Does anybody wear masks anymore? And I'm going to make it a tiny bit smaller and publish. And voila. Now, let's say I want to advertise this on Instagram or Pinterest because everything you upload to T Public automatically gets like 72 hours discount. So I'm going to head over back to Kittle and I'm going to click on mock up. I can also use mock up mark, by the way. We had a video about mock up mark, but for this one, I'm going to use the internal Kittle mock ups and I'm going to try to align it the way it is aligned on an actual t shirt for the first time, even though I don't want this mock up. Let's go with all t-shirt mock-ups. In this case, ooh, you look nice. Hello, you. This one is actually even for the free version of Kittle. I'm going to try to make it resemble as much as I can the actual placement of how it's going to look on Tee Public. I'm going to change the t-shirt color. Oh, wow. This doesn't exist. Let's change it to black. Now, sometimes it kind of moves around. And if it moves around for you and you want black, just type in the hex code 0000000. And then I am going to download the mockup. I can also save this to my uploads in case I want to do anything with this mockup. For example, creating an Instagram post, which I will currently do by heading back to Kittle, clicking on new project. We do have an Instagram post size, but standard is also pretty much the same. I'm going to click on create and go back to my uploads, take my weird t-shirt. And this is something that, again, you need to do based on the style of what you're already doing on Instagram. So let's say you have a background that you're using or a certain font. So I'm going to put this here. Let's go with, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to use the background for the word weird to be the background of this design. And hopefully it will not look horrible. <laughs> like the literal thing that I use for the text, I'm going to put it as a layer beneath it. I don't know if it looks horrible or not. Oh, come on. I don't know. Okay. I think I need maybe another square. Let's get a square. Now, this is a square that you can move in multiple ways, but if you just, you know, want to keep the ratio, just do something like this. I'm going to color this in white. Ah, it's escaping me. And I'm going to send it behind the illustration image. So this basic shape, I'm going to center and center it. The illustration image is going to be centered and centered. And now I can do something like text, text, text. Um, 72 hours. What is the price? Oh, wow. It's $16. That's awesome. Okay. Let's go back. Stay weird for $16. <laughs> this is so dumb. I don't know if it's a good slogan or a bad one. Let me grab the text and make it white. Indeed, stay weird. And I'm going to choose a very different font. I really like this one. I don't know why, but I love this one. And I love how it looks with my um, swerves in the back. Let's also go to the swerves in the back and go to blend mode and try to see if I can create a different kind of blending mode with my background. My background is white, so... Maybe if my background is a different color, I'm going to see a different result. Oh, yes, definitely. Okay, I'm going to my illustration. Let's do color burn. 
I think on black it just doesn't do much. So I'm going to choose normal. You can also adjust the opacity of this. If I want to make sure, I don't know, it looks, I think it looks better. Stay weird for $16. And this would be a post for Instagram. You can add your shop logo. You can obviously write more description. And this is a really cool way to use Kittle's masking for letters with any photo, because obviously you could have used anything else that you upload as well as any photo that they have here that you want to use, any kind of background, any kind of clip art. I chose to use my liquid art because it's the latest thing on May Tribe Shop for the liquid art bundle, which is right here. And you can check out other examples of what is included in this bundle, as well as other things that you can do with it. I think I'm going to actually add this, well, not this one, but this mock-up to the liquid art bundle and I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did give it a like because every time you do that YouTube thinks hey it's a cool video I'm going to show it to more people this is an awesome feature from Kittle thank you so much I do request please if you can add the option for borders for the letter frames because that would have been much cooler and I would have pretty much activated every single t-shirt that I had after creating a white or a black border but with that being said that was it for me for today thank you so much for watching more videos coming in the next few days before my pending mini retirement for a month and a half from the channel i hope that you enjoy the content i have planned for you for the next two weeks and that you learned something new today and that you're having fun with kittle and as usual i'll see you guys in my next video bye i just waved to myself without you actually seeing it this is so weird goodbye